This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV. The Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With a zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available reclining lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash EV9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. If you've been struggling to fall asleep or stay asleep, try listening to a guided meditation tonight on the Sleep Meditation for Women podcast. Meditations are a natural, easy way to quiet your mind and relax your body so you can get the sleep you need. Every night, Sleep Meditation for Women provides a new episode from body relaxations to guided visualizations and even dedicated sleep sounds. Listen for free now by searching Sleep Meditation for Women on your favorite podcast player and begin sleeping better tonight. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2407. Muscle Building 101 by Eric Lea of ericlea.com. Hey there, happy Sunday and happy New Year's Eve and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. This is kind of like an audiobook, but with articles instead, and articles from a bunch of different authors. Of course, with their permission. Now on Fridays, I answer your questions. Remember, you can send me a question by going to oldpodcast.com dot com slash ask or email it directly to health at oldpodcast.com. All right, and with that, let's hear today's article and continue optimizing your life. Muscle Building 101 by Eric Lea of ericlea.com. We talk a lot about making gains around here, and that sort of encompasses the entirety of fitness. Whether your goal is shredding, putting on muscle, boosting your endurance, and so on, quote-unquote making gains is making strides toward that goal. Today, I want to talk about making actual gains in the form of muscle. Typical talk around kettlebell and bodyweight training centers around shredding, mobility, and high-intensity interval training style cardio work. So, I want to take a pause and show you some tips for putting on muscle with and without kettlebells. Training for muscle gains involves a few different methods of lifting and training. So, if you're looking to start gaining, start here. Let's hit it. Top tips for making muscle gains. 1. Grab a heavier weight. This tip is probably one most of you are aware of, but building gets easier when you add more weight. This isn't to say that you can't build muscle with body weight circuits alone, but you'll fatigue your muscles faster and therefore build faster when you put them under a higher load. What does this look like? Well, if you're using a kettlebell or dumbbell weight that's comfortable for you now, grab one or two that are more challenging. The key is to use a weight where you can't perform as many reps. For example, a rep range between, let's say, 5 to 7 versus 12 or more. Form becomes extremely important when you do this, so focus not on speed when you upgrade, but quality movements. Two, be eccentric. Nope, not in the personality sense, but that's a fine option too. Focus on utilizing eccentric training. Eccentric training is a training style that focuses on going slow on the lowering or expanding phase of movements. For instance, if you were to do an eccentric pull-up, you'd pull up as normal, but lower your body back down slowly and controlled at least half speed. The same with curls or push-ups. Normal lift or rise, slow and controlled, lower. Research has shown this is one of the best ways to build muscle mass, with scientists stating that the increased load on the muscle is responsible for building muscle fibers better than other forms of training. Three, work large muscle groups and utilize compound movements. Focusing on big lifts and working multiple muscle groups at once can significantly boost HGH, also known as human growth hormone, as well as testosterone, two of the most important hormones for gaining muscle. This is because these moves activate more muscle fibers at once when compared to isolated movements. 
Plus, the intensity activates more metabolic processes, creating a higher hormone response. Examples of big lifts and compound movements would be things like deadlifts, squats, the clean and press, bent over kettlebell rows, and pull-ups. Focus on these in your circuits and remember to stick to that five to seven rep range. Four, if you're doing cardio, focus on high-intensity interval training. Doing too much steady-state cardio when trying to build can dampen muscle gains, while research shows that high-intensity interval training can actually fuel muscle growth by significantly increasing HGH levels. One study in particular found that just a single 30-second sprint increased HGH significantly. High-intensity interval training involves alternating periods of intense work and rest. A high-intensity interval training session could be as simple as all-out sprinting for 15 to 30 seconds, followed by a 30 to 60 second walk, and repeated for 15 minutes. Or you can even structure a body weight strength circuit in a similar fashion. And five, adequate recovery time and diet. Don't forget to allow for recovery time between heavy lifting and training days. This is the time where your muscles repair themselves, becoming stronger and bigger. Cutting off that time could cut off gains and potentially prime you for injury due to overwork. So be sure to rest and get in those Epsom salt baths. As for diet, growing muscles require plenty of protein. So make sure you're eating enough high quality whole food sources. Along with this, add a serving of clean carbs to your meal such as sweet potato, winter squash, or starchy veggies like carrots, since muscles like using glycogen to grow. Just don't go crazy and limit those processed carbs. You just listened to the post titled Muscle Building 101 by Eric Leia of ericleia.com. If I were to ask you to name four classic Christmas movies, could you answer in under 15 seconds? If the answer is yes, then you need to play Trivia Star. Trivia Star is a free mobile game with over 60 different categories to choose from, including music, TV, sports, and more. Plus, right now for the holiday season, enjoy limited time categories like Christmas movies, and holiday songs. Play any time from your smartphone and expand your knowledge. And right now, Trivia Star is offering you 2,500 coins and 500 gems when you download and play, which come in handy if you get stuck on hard questions. I've sure enjoyed the extra points and gems because sometimes you need them, and trust me, the last thing you want is to stop playing. Trivia Star has thousands of five-star reviews in the App Store and is the number one trivia game on iPhone. Download it today to test yourself with over 10,000 trivia questions. Just go to the Apple or Google store and search for Trivia Star. Download Trivia Star for free and train your brain today. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. If you've listened to this show the past few weeks, you may have noticed a trend. I've been receiving quite a few questions about how we can change our body composition by building more muscle. Well, Eric summarized how to do this quite nicely. In fact, Both my responses and Eric's post today highlight probably the most important thing. In order for your muscles to grow, you have to use them. You have to make them want to grow bigger. The way to do that is to first push them to do things they aren't used to doing, like lifting heavier weight, and or placing more demands on them. Next, allow them to grow by eating nutritious foods and resting them. If you do these things, your muscles will grow. Now, folks often ask me, which workout routine actually works? Does P90X work? Does CrossFit work? What about insanity? What if I perform the 300 workout every day? My answer is always the same. Every workout plan works, just so long as you actually do it. You have to do the workout to see results, and you have to do it consistently. So, whichever routine helps keep you consistent, and occasionally pushes you beyond what you're used to doing, then it will probably improve your fitness level and therefore change your body composition. But again, for it to work, you have to do the work consistently. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for listening and being here every day, especially on weekends and holidays. I hope you have a wonderful and safe New Year's Eve, and I'll be back here tomorrow for the new year and where your optimal life awaits.